Welcome back to Atwood's Garage. I'm going to fiddle with the F-250 for a little bit today. I need to get some measurements. Stick around. What I need I do have the back wheels chalked, so no worries there. This should be interesting. No worries. This thing in here, as you may see, Previous owner got his money's worth out of his brakes. This is in part of why I got this truck. Damn cheap. Like three bills cheap. Anyway, there's enough there still to do what I want to do. But to get a couple of measurements for, uh, Information purposes for rear steer using SD's front parts. It always seems no distance from the ball joint to the hub face. Oh, that's why they call it no joint. Nice. Alright. Sweet. I'm just floating in there. It's alright. So from the hub face, center of the ball joint is 11. Living 5 8 Inside of the C. Oh no. 
animals. See, roughly 12 inches. inches, 10 inches to the end of the axle, about 8 inches to the U-joint. Alright, that's all I needed to do, except I made it. Isn't that, isn't that just neat? You gotta love it. But, I'm going to go ahead and leave that off. This truck's never going to drive nowhere. It's going to get pulled back. I'm going to get the axles out of it. Uh, pull the doors and drive a line. Scrap the rest. Anyway, stick around. I'll get this wheel back on. Oh, welcome back. I haven't watched the video earlier, but I think I ran out of battery. So whatever got cut off, got cut off. Anyway, we're back at the house. Just a few things to go over here. I did uh, get my axle put up here. Lopped off. This side, as close as I could get to all the bracketry and all that good stuff. Do the other side the same. I think this one is 18 and a half inches from the housing. New big guy can't see darn thing. Yep, 18 and a half. I think this one's 16 and a half when I get it cut. Something like that. I'm gonna try to center the housing so I can get the axle shafts, inner axle shafts being the same length. The uh, Sterling 10 5 quarter or 10 and a quarter 10 5 is roughly three. Three and a half inches. Try to do this together. I know this ain't the right way, but it's close enough for here. ID this looks to be three eighth wall tube. There we go. And we're at uh, about two point nine zero eight. Sure, good here on our zero. Yep. And the sterling axle shaft does taper when the splines out. But I'm only worried about the splines. I know this is not the right way. I'm supposed to use pins. But again, this is just for taking rough measurements. Yada, yada, yada. Again, inch and a half. Data 60 axle shaft is an inch and a half down its full length. So... Now that I've got the measurements of the Dana 60 from the hub face to the U-joint to the C's inside and out and the ball joint. I now know, you know, some measurements there to figure out what I need to get my uh, measurements. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to end up probably cutting this shaft off about here. Just to use the splines, uh, I'm going to make myself up an indexer using the original splines and a cutter. Uh, Jance Engineering on YouTube has this set up. I'm just going to mimic what he's done uh, because I'm a cheap bastard and I really don't feel like paying 400 bucks for a set of custom inner axles. I'd rather be able to just buy a bunch of Dana 50 long sides or even Dana 60 long sides. 404 to 99 super duty axle and just cut them down myself so if i get them the same length then i can just keep one spare laying around uh it would work for both sides for the rear steer let's see anything else going on here at the moment not necessarily i said uh but the uh if i find a dana 50 or a dana 60 housing to get the ends of the C's off of, uh, depending on how everything measures out, I can either slide directly onto this tube, or if I need to, I can sleeve and add as needed to get the distances I need for the lengths. Uh, for my target of, I like to get 68 and a half inches uh, 
wheel mounting surface to wheel mounting surface. That mimics very closely what the uh, Sterling would be originally. I think it's 68 and 5 eighths. So, still working on the speed roller, but uh, I need some drilling and tapping I got to do, and the weather's like, it's only like 35 degrees today, so I did this yesterday. It was a little warmer, kind of get it on the whim, and I still need to finish out the truss and everything. It's just partially welded on and partially built. So, just a little, uh, mainly investigative kind of a weekend here getting numbers and i get my net notepad a little excuse me my notepad out and pen and paper and i'll start running numbers figuring out my distances and lengths start looking for the parts i need and while this isn't a priority to build this axle uh it doesn't hurt to start scrounging for the parts that i need now so anyway so that was garage sterling 10.5 rear stair on custom inner shafts so Stick around. We'll get this thing built little by little. Hope you all had a good weekend. Goodbye.